YouTube, welcome back to Universe X, and I have to say, we get a whole lot of stuff to get into. Um, this particular video, as you can see by the title, is just about the teaser trailer as well as the set trailer that we got today. However, this week we're going to get into, well, actually tomorrow actually, I'm going to show you guys my updated go on list. A lot of people were looking for that and there's a lot of information to go over when it comes to that. You might have saw me on feature. Um, then I also have just more stuff about fest to go into the upcoming meta. I want to get a round table started. We have so much to work off of. We're getting spoilers for the next set starting, I believe next week. It's just a good time to be into content creating and to be into this game in general. So we're gonna get the normal shout out, the shout out out the way. Um, if you want to see information about this game in all sorts of places, you can always go to the official Facebook group for this card game. It's where you're gonna get the official announcements and the official spoilers. You can go to the unofficial discussion group where you can talk about these things, the unofficial Reddit where you can talk about these things, Universe X Facebook group or Discord, you can talk about these things. Um, if you would like to see Universe X in a different light, I make other content on UniX DB as well as UniX Gotcha. Those are respective channels for Dragon Ball games and Gotcha games, you know. Um, just all sorts of stuff. I'm really trying to expand the brand. Um, you've got a TCG player site on my end. I uploaded a bunch of Fest cards uh, that I got from the weekend. I'm actually going to go through my inventory and bulk and stuff, and I'm going to put up a bunch of more cards. So you'll probably see a lot of foils in there, um, <clears throat> just random knickknacks that you can pick up if you want. So with that being said, you can all check that out. There's plenty of ways to interact, and uh, some of the ways even help me out. Speaking of interacting and helping me out, we definitely have the normal partner sponsor, you know, TCG Metals. Uh, metal cards coming out clean. You guys may have seen that, uh, you know, Yellow Trunks did bust up the top cut. Um, Yellow Trunks definitely got second place this event, and TCG Metals has an amazing, and when I say amazing, I mean an amazing gold leader. The Trunks that turns into the gold trunks, and it's not really focusing as well as it needs to right now, but I'll have a better video for it because we are giving one away. And that's actually going to be a really cool thing. So I'm very excited to be able to get into that. It's going to be a good time. But moving into the meat and potatoes, we had two things. One of them being a set 17 spoiler trailer. And the other one being a set 18 teaser. So I actually have quite a few notes going on about this because there was a lot of stuff to take away. Um, <laughs> a lot of stuff to take away. So here's the thing, okay? Um, this new set, set 17, is called Ultimate Squad, and it is the final set of Unison Warrior Block. And, you know, this kind of goes without saying. I hate that I had to segue into it. It wasn't a quite planned segue, I just remembered it. If you like the content, by the end of the video, think about hitting the subscribe button, notification button. Just join the UniX fam and help us grow, and we will continue doing all sorts of new things like we were going to before. But this time, with more support, a bigger fan base will help the game grow, will help the game spread. But, yes, set 17 we are going into ultimate squad like i said last set of uh you know boost before we get into this like zenkai thing but we'll talk about that a little later um and this one is focusing on just crews crews in dragon ball established groups and it's a little weird because coming off of realm of the gods realm of the gods seemed like the kind of peak of hype like I don't know what necessarily could have come after Realm of the Gods in terms of hype for this, unless it was like the movie set, but this is not the movie set, and of course we'll get to that a little later as well. But um, basically this is like set 17 gang gang.exe, but for real, Ultimate Squad. So we're looking at the themes here, right? Um, Red is coming out of GT, and the leaders we have are Booty Rildo, JK. Uh, we have General Rildo, uh, and he flips over to his armored form, so I'm assuming there's going to be a new SR slash SPR with his uh with his you know metal real dough form um and dr mew is in the back so that's the machine mutants that's their gang um then you have goku who flips into the gt trio you know trunks pan and goku so that's that um then you're gonna go into you know before we go into that, i'm gonna talk about that a little bit we it's kind of weird because real dough th this is weird gt has a bunch of cool parts for people that love gt but gt is also has a couple of parts that are kind of slow. People like the Shadow Dragons, people like the baby fight, um, but we're at the beginning of GT and a lot, a lot of people dig that. Like Goku's highest form is Super Saiyan 3 at this point um, as a child and Pan doesn't really do too much. Trunks can go Super Saiyan. So what we're essentially looking at at this point is um, 
Grildo versus, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and that's that's kind of where we're at. So I need to see how this works. I need to see how this works. But so far, red makes me sad because it's not it doesn't really seem that like, you know, retroactively good, but we might see some good generic cards. We don't know yet. Um blue, the theme is Red Ribbon Army. And it seems that the two leaders are Commander Red, who goes into his mech when he awakens. And this one's the real kicker. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 from Dragon Ball Heroes Superheroes. Um, little quick note about that. One, I definitely feel like that's kind of a huge point to just randomly throw in there, um, just to have those in there. But it also lets us know that, of course, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are going to have the Red Ribbon Army tag. They just are. And these cards are going to be able to work with it. And what we will see, and I'll put them up on the screen soon, um, is that we are going to get kind of like an aggressive variant of blue in this Red Ribbon Army deck. And so that may tell me that, uh, you know, both Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, as well as Red, uh, well, Commander Red, might be just very, very forward aggressive decks. And that's kind of cool. Blue hasn't really had that, that like, workable-wise in a little bit. So I'm excited to kind of see where that goes. Green is dominated by Cooler. You have Cooler and his Armored Squad, and then you have Meta Cooler and his squad of himself a gajillion times. Um, those are the two things, um, and it's kind of cool. We'll actually hop back into there because we saw some cards that suggest that they're going to try to bridge this cooler with the old cooler, um, and I actually like that a lot. So that's pretty cool. Um, now the green cooler seems to be very unison oriented. I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of empower shenanigans because it showed his armored squadron. There are three different unisons, but then the meta cooler seems to be a green yellow hybrid to bridge the yellow cards with the green cards with a mono green leader, so you can use the cool, really, really busted Metal Cooler Unison. So you don't want to pick those up while you can. Um, Yellow is going into the Android Saga, but we're having a Piccolo leader as well as a Goku leader in the Yardrat flow. So the Yardrat Drip, I guess. So it'd be really cool to see, you know, Piccolo deal more with Namekians and then, you know, have um, have the other two, or have Goku deal more with like Sans. I think that'd be cool. Um, he's automatically gonna have a boost because he can access Turtles and stuff like that, but I'm really hoping that Piccolo is able to pick up Namekians. Like, I hope we get some really good Namekian stuff. Um, some Fuse with Kami. We gotta get a Fuse and Nail card. Maybe a Fuse with Kami card would be pretty cool, too. Black is Toa, and Toa just has, like, her scientific horde, and that's cool, but, I mean, we're gonna circle around. So, some interesting notes that I picked up from this set, right? Metacooler has at least one green-yellow card, and it has Successor. So it's actually really cool. We're gonna actually go over that card momentarily, but it has successor. So there, it does seem like they're gonna try to bridge things. Um, and that's cool because you have a bunch of support in both colors and you don't just wanna like leave that support to just die. So it's cool that we're getting both of that. Um, now there is a green Piccolo and Kami card, right? And that's interesting because that may be a card that tries to bridge, just like how you can use Assimilate in any deck. Maybe this green Piccolo and uh, Kami card is going to try to help bridge green and yellow Namekian cards, just like the cooler stuff did. Also though, green apparently is going to have Android cards to support the ultimate deck too. So green is gonna be interesting. Green is gonna have cooler cards, meta cooler cards, and Android cards, and maybe a couple of Namekian splashes. Um, there is a red bar on the splash page. Normally we get two to three splash pages. It's time we only got one, unfortunate, but it is what it is. So um, we got a splash page for that, and that's actually really heat. So we got Ba, and you know, it's kind of weird. I, I'm like, I'm all for supporting old archetypes, but duh, Red Broly is not one of them. I it just look, that, that deck doesn't need any support. I hope this card is kind of dog water because like, we don't need anything to help the consistency of that deck. It needs to just like slowly fade away into the distance. Um, we got Cooler Squadron, you know, uh, being, like I said, they're being unisons. There, there are three one cost unisons, and this screams to me, screams to me, that they're gonna have in power. You play one, you plus one. Um, if it doesn't get hit next turn, you play one, and it goes up to three counters, you plus one, it's at four, you know what I mean? Um, so I think it's gonna kind of build off that, trying, trying to see that. And a deck with multiple unisons is interesting because like it has niche plays that you wanna be able to get out of any deck, you know? You get reposted. This deck on three energy can still swing three times because you know your unisons don't get affected. Um, or, you know, you're facing Hatch, that kind of goes under the radar too. So, that's pretty cool. There's an SS2 Gohan Unison, and I'm already assuming that this is gonna have Empower as well, because a Unison can't be a bomb without having a high cost or Empower at this point. 
so that's tight and then on the box art you can actually see that there is a corner you know the oh get a box topper it could be an SPR and that's the almost Doken-esque art of him using the final uh, the fathers and Kamehameha when he finally overpowered Cell and everything went blue and like you know with the black shadows so we're gonna have this 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 is probably gonna be a game ender and I'm really interested to see how they handle a game ender like are they gonna give like his unison quad strike if it can minus like five counters I don't know we're about to see but I'm very, very, very excited to see where it goes. And um, I don't really want to play yellow, but it's got my boy in it. And I don't see my boy anywhere else in the set. So this may have to be a done deal. Um, green Android support, like I said, will be coming. Because we already were told that it'd be coming in this set. Uh, the other thing. These are the first the first Dragon Ball Super Heroes, Super Heroes cards are coming out in this set in blue. Maybe in other colors too, but as far as we know, in blue. Now, it looks like... Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 have SR foiling. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm putting leaders on the screen right now, and you can see those, but it looks like they have SR foiling. Uh, if this is the case, it's interesting. Some people may be like, oh, this is the pre release, but they already showed that for the pre release, we're getting two unisons. So, this is probably in pack, and if it's in pack and not like a box topper, that's gonna be interesting because it's gonna be an SR unison. Or, sorry, SR leader. Uh, then, the other part is that. With them being a leader in this set, and so far, no other knowledge of there being any other, because believe me, if this was a whole movie set, we would have had this in multiple spaces. It would have been in multiple spaces, flat out. Like, we're multiple leaders would have been movie leaders. Um, so I'm assuming this just goes to show that, as we all suggested, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are not the main villains of the movie, because there's going to be another villain that's going to take up a leader slot in a future set. So this is pretty cool, but now we're gonna move over to the teaser and that's gonna be the shorter part of the video and then we're gonna wrap it up. So now for the second one, we've got this teaser here. And in this teaser, it's for set 18 actually. And they're teasing the arrival of the Zenkai mechanic. There seems to be a brand new zone side by side with your leader. And so people are wondering if this is gonna be kind of like a, uh, like a, a leader buddy, you know, kind of like the unison was originally thought to be, kind of still is, or if this is maybe going to be like an over awakening, you know what I mean? Like a temporary awakening, because Zenkai normally means like a boost that's gained on the brink of death. So maybe something you can only use when you're at two life, you know, something silly like that. But the cool thing about this trailer is that we are getting Dragon Ball Super Superhero sometime. And we just saw in the set 17 trailer that we did get Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. So on this, we are seeing four different Zenkai cards, potentially. Like, you know, they're just hinting at it. And you see a Goku, a Vegeta, a Piccolo, and a Gohan from set one. Now, this is hilarious. I don't think that Piccolo is from set one. I think that Piccolo might be the starter Piccolo. But yeah, either way, this is hilarious to me because they then phase out into silhouettes and Goku goes into Ultra Instant. You can see that. I could be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, when you look at these two silhouettes, you see that Vegeta is thicker in the second silhouette. So I'm assuming that's SSBE, and his his uh, aura is blue as well. So I think that's the case, especially with Goku's aura switching to white for Ultra Instinct. Piccolo is still a silhouette, and Gohan is still a silhouette, but what we do know is that Piccolo is getting a new ultimate form. Gohan, don't know if he's getting a new form, don't know if he's just strengthening his ultimate form. However, I think that it's a high probability that next in this set, the Zenkai set, we will be seeing, you know, a Zenkai card for Ultra Instinct, a Zenkai card for SSBE, a Zenkai card for Ultimate Piccolo, and a Zenkai card for some sort of Gohan from the movie. I think that seems to be pretty, pretty clear as day. Um, I'm very, very, very excited for this. We have so many things to go over. And then now uh, moving back to this, I just want to talk about a couple cards that we have on screen, right? Um, I'm going to put them up in waves, and uh, I could just be dropping everything off my desk. I apologize. I got home from the airport and immediately was like, all right, I guess it's time. So, let's first go over the blue cards. You've got uh, three blue cards because they had a whole article put out. You should definitely go. I'll put the article in the description. And this article shows uh, nine cards off. But first, we have Commander Red, Red Ribbon Unifier. Barrier, he's a two drop, uh, two specified blue. When this card is played, draw one card, activate main, limit one, spirit boost one, for one energy. If your leader card is a blue red ribbon army card, so that's either gonna be red or gamma and beta. Remember that. Um, I'm sorry, gamma one and gamma two. Uh, 
play up to one blue non-commander red red ribbon army card with injury cost of two or less from your drop area. So this could play one of the ones that was coming up next, or it could play another gamble one or gamble two. Like this is the cool stuff about it. Or it probably like a Dr. Hito or whatever they're gonna put in that set for these cards. And then you've got a uh, two, uh, the next one, uh, two cost general blue red ribbon officer. This guy only costs one blue. Um, it's always cool when you see one because that leaves room for splashing if colors come up high in the next one. Let's say like next set in set 18, there's a green leader for this. So the red ribbon army deck would be hybrid green blue. These one costs are going to be very, very good for that theme simply because, or sorry, these one specifies because they allow you to, you know, play other colors in your energy. But uh, general blue, red ribbon officer, auto blue, one of your battle cards is removed from your battle area by a skill, play this card from your hand. Auto limit one, uh, your leader card is a blue red ribbon army card, and this card is played, or when this card is played, draw one card, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and energy cost of four or less, return to the owner's hand, and then this card gains plus 10k power until the start of your opponent's turn. That's actually pretty interesting. It's gonna be a 20k swinger and it can bounce things. Four is no laughable cost. Like that could be a divine presence. That could be quite a few things. So that's pretty tight. Now we're gonna move on to general white. Uh, four, one specified blue. Auto once per turn, choose one of your Android cards and place it in the owner's drop area. This is like direct correlation. This, so you can see how these cards will work with each other because they didn't really have Androids back in the path to Power Saga outside of Aider. But this is gonna work very, very, very well. Um, with things like Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Um, but you choose one of your Android cards, placing it on your drop area. When this card attacks, switch this card to active mode, and then it gains critical for the turn. So that's actually amazing. It's going to swing for 20k crit. And then um, you've got Blue Blue Limit 1. If your leader card is a Blue Red Ribbon Army card, and you choose one of your Red Ribbon Army cards and place it in its owner's drop area, play this card from your hand. So there may be some sort of play off the field, maybe some effects that when they get sent, but that's awesome. Next, we're going to move over to some of the green cards and the green yellows. Meta Cooler, Multiplying Threat, Auto, add one card from your life to your hand. When this card attacks, look up to the top five cards of your deck, uh, play up to one infinite multiplication uh, Meta Cooler amongst them in rest mode, shuffle your deck, and this card goes up to 15k. That's hot. So you're gonna swing for 15k, that's very aggressive. You're gonna add a two drop body on turn one, that may be a little hard to get rid of. Um, so there's gonna be some things about that. Next, next you've got Big Getty Star, Nightmare for Generation. It's a field card, permanent, cost two. I'm assuming the leader's just gonna put this on the board. Um, this also counts as Big Getty Star in all areas, so it covers the old field card effects. So this even more supports that you're gonna be able to use the yellow cards with it. Uh, yeah, burst one for one energy. Uh, one energy that's colorless, so once again, they want you to go dual color. Switch this card to rest mode, look at the top three cards on the top of your deck. Uh, play up to one infinite multiplication medical or amongst them, place the remaining cards in the bottom of your deck in any order. Activate main, green, yellow, two. Place one medical or core from your hand under this card. Play up to one medical or core card from your deck or drop area on top of this card and shuffle your deck if you look through it. Next, we got one of the most interesting cards here as well. Medical Core, the Collective, Energy Exhaust Successor, Green, Yellow, One. Permanent Medical cards in your battle area, Game Blocker, that's very strong. When you use this card's Successor skill, you can place up to, uh, if you are to place four or more battle cards in the drop area, you can uh, play four infinite multiplication, up to four multiplication coolers from your deck and or drop area, and then shuffle your deck if you look through it. So that's actually gonna be really wild. You're gonna be able to Successor, four to the grave, play four of them. That's very strong. Next, we got Piccolo Z Fighter. Empower Yellow 2. These are the yellow cards, by the way. They're coming from the Android Saga. Um, he's a 5,000 cost, you know, unison. Empower Yellow 2. That's going to be strong. Um, and then Limit 1. If this card has three more markers on it, when this card is played, draw one card. So it's a cantrip. Uh, plus 1, then he gains 10,000 power for the turn. So he's going to swing for 15k. He's a 1 cost 15k that should be drawing one when you play him. Not strong. Not bad either. We need to really see how aggressive the like, deck is because it seems a little lackluster. SS Son Gohan Inherited Will. Barrier, limit one, yellow. If your leader card is a yellow Son Goku card, one of your yellow unison cards is placed in your drop area, play this card from your hand. Activate battle, once per turn, choose, or discard one yellow unison card from your hand, choose up to one of your yellow leader cards, unison cards, again, plus 5,000 power for this battle. Seems very, very, very aggressive and chain play, but this is pretty interesting. You have two energy, right? You play one energy to play a just Z fighter. Uh, unison it comes to the board it gets its in power it sends something to the grave you're gonna or drop zone you're gonna be able to tap another one play this guy for 15 uh swing and you can activate you know his activate battle and do that stuff and you've got ss trunks super warrior blocker uh limit one yellow if you look cards a yellow son goku card when one of your yellow unison cards is uh placed in the drop area play this card from your hand 
and then he's got spirit boost when this card is played choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and rest them on ko like that's a very very powerful effect he has so it seems very 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 easily able to see that you're going to be playing these unisons rapidly and then using your energy outside the unison play to drop these cards onto the board uh past that I don't see anything that deals with Namekians here, so it's safe to say that we may have a very Namekian focused theme coming off of Piccolo. So that being said, that is all I wanted to get into, I just wanted to go over those things. Um, I definitely think that there is a little bit more detail, let me see. Um, uh, give me one moment, I'm going to just find the pre-release, I do believe the pre-release cards are up already, and I'll come right back. Okay, so now we've got two more uh, unisons, and they're gonna go up on screen. Um, the first one is Trunks the Empowered, uh, Empower Yellow 2. During your turn, this card gains plus 2,000 power for each marker on it, that's pretty cool. Auto limit one, when you have a unison card in play, when this card is placed in your drop area from your unison area, add up to one Sun Gohan the Empowered from your hand to your deck, then shuffle your deck. Uh, activate main, discard one card from your hand, and draw one card, okay. So his plus one is a filter and then he's going to hopefully come into the field with two uh, two markers. So if you come into play with three markers and then you plus one him, he's got four markers and those markers are gonna add 8,000, making him a 13K, which is a little awkward. That's not like the best, but when you play over a unison, you're or when you play over this one, you're gonna be able to search Sun Go on the Empowered. So going over to Sun Go on the Empowered, he's got Empowered Yellow 2 Blocker, he also gains 2,000 power for each marker on it. Limit one if you have a unison card in play when you play uh, when you play over this guy. So if you basically just play a unison over him, you're going to be able to search chunks of the empowered from your hand to your deck, shelf your deck, and then um, at the end of your turn, you switch this card to active mode. So he's going to be able to swing for 13k and then um, untap. These guys are a little weird because they get played and they should only have 13k. Um, if they get played for full and power and then plus one, which doesn't really seem that good, but they do float each other. And because this deck seems to be working on discarding a unison or always being able to play a unison per turn, these guys floating each other could be very interesting. We just have to see how they decide to handle that because too many unisons in a deck can mean some cloggage and your combo power suffers, but we will see. So yeah, like I said, I hope you guys like the content. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel, if you guys found any other details that I missed, uh, what you guys are thinking about the set. I think it was really bold of them to follow up Realm of the Gods with a set like this, but we will see how it pans out, and there's plenty more spoilers to be had. Um, also, we are getting eight for participation. This is what? That's wild. Huh? Oil trunks units and cards. Hey, is this just the kit? I think it's just the kit. Okay, yeah, it's weird. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys the next time I decide to join Universe X. Keep an eye out because I'll be dropping my Gohan deck list very, very soon, like tomorrow soon. And uh, I will see you guys later.